All right then, regular quizzes of this page will know exactly how this sort of works, but in case there's anybody new, let's have a quick recap of the very simple rules. Uh, tonight, all you will need is uh, some paper and a pen. Nothing more technological than that, apart from the... Uh, the sort of ever-expanding horizons of your minds. Uh, that's all you're going to need tonight. Nothing nothing technical, nothing sort of wizardry and gadgetry. I'll try and do everything I can my end uh, to make it as simple as possible. Uh, the quiz, as always then, is split into two parts this evening. We have 20 general knowledge questions of a sort of mixed ability because it is family friendly. So if you do have the kids with you uh, tonight on the sofa or wherever it is that you're playing, uh, there's going to be some questions for them and of course uh, some for the mums and dads as well, okay? Uh, so it is family friendly, as I say, and free for everybody uh, to join tonight. Um, so uh, we also have um, a bonus round at the end. Now I can reveal for the first time tonight that the bonus round is a visual round. We know that already. Uh, but it is flags of the world. Okay, so I'll explain a little bit about that uh, the closer we get to it. But tonight's bonus round is flags of the world. We'll get to that in due course. Now, um, due to this being uh, the sort of modern marvels of technology and being done uh, a little bit differently tonight uh, over the medium of Facebook Live, uh, there is a high chance uh, that some people's connections may drop out. Uh, my feed may sort of jitter. It may freeze. The audio may dip. A whole horde of weird and wonderful technical things uh, could happen tonight. So... How I've sort of been doing it, which has been working quite well, uh, is the 20 general knowledge questions I've split into two, okay? So I am going to read uh, questions 1 to 10, and then we're going to have a little halfway break. Um, and in that time is your chance uh, to ask for any repeats. This way, we're hopefully going to ease up on filling the comments section uh, with just loads and loads of, can you repeat this, can you repeat that, blah, 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 okay? So if you've missed something, it's quite okay. Because when we get to sort of 10 questions in, I'm going to take a small break and you can fire away, fill the comments with anything that you need repeating. If you need them all repeating, I will, of course, happily uh, repeat them all for you, okay? Now, going on to how we're going to answer, that goes back to tonight, your pen and paper, okay? Please do not, I repeat, do not write the answers in the comments tonight, please. Thank you. Uh, yes, don't write them in the comments because that way everybody is going to be able to see what you have written, okay? Uh, so write them down on your pens, uh, on, on your papers with your pens, please. Don't write them in the comments because it is a quiz. It is fun for everybody. And if you're giving the answers away, uh, everybody's going to get very, very cheesed off with you. And there will be a mutiny uh, <laughs> within absolutely milliseconds okay uh, now if this is happening and there is somebody playing uh silly sods out there and writing all of the answers in the comments i cannot turn uh the comments off and i, I would i wouldn't like to because you can see me i can talk to you right now uh, however uh, you can't talk to me unless it is of course uh, via those comments so i don't like to turn them off but if if somebody is uh writing in um, and, and spoiling the fun for everybody, uh, you can turn them off, okay? There is somewhere up there at the top of your feed um, an icon of a speech bubble with a circle and a line through it. If you click that, it will disable the comments, and then when you're ready to join back in uh, with the communications, you can re-click that icon, and of course you can join back in, comment away, uh, and ask for any questions that you may have. It's as easy as that. All right, so if you've got any final questions before we do start the quiz, now is your chance to say them or forever hold your peace as we say hello to the final quizzes joining in this evening. My feed says we've got around about 88 to 90 fluctuating between those figures tonight, so that's fantastic. Thanks for all the sharers. Thanks for everybody that's tagged in this evening. Uh, let's see who's joining in. Uh, last hurdles tonight. Uh, Dave and Julie... Welcome to you. Um, Mike and Anne from Aberdeen, welcome to you. Uh, oh, people in, <laughs> people writing in saying that they are looking forward to the bonus round tonight. You never know, though. I may have picked some very, very obscure countries uh, just to keep you all on your toes. As I say, there's questions for the kids, but there's also some for the mums and dads as well. So your geography is going to be stretched tonight. Um, good evening. Um, 
Dave and Julie. Oh, yep, sorry, I just got that one a minute ago. Are my comments coming? They are, Dave. I was just uh, reading the rules, so I'm just catching up now. No problem. Uh, Karen, hello to you. Uh, Sharon saying hello uh, to some other people. And Emma, welcome to you as well. Uh, right then, I don't think there are any uh, final questions uh, for the quiz this evening. So... Without further ado, we are going to kick start with your 20 general knowledge questions tonight. Okay, here we go then with question numero uno. Question number one. Neptune has eight moons. What is the name of the biggest one? Neptune has eight moons. But what is the name of the biggest one? Uh, you may have noticed as well, I've had a very, very bored week where I've been learning how to use this broadcasting software better. And now I have beautiful frame around me <laughs> uh, with some neon architecture. I I've gone all sort of 80s retro on you tonight. <laughs> and as always, uh, there was going to be a visual and audio uh, clue as to when the next question is coming, just in case you've got your heads eyes closed and heads buried in the sand trying to think of the answers okay uh, so the countdown looks like this uh, and on to question number two uh, what is the minimum amount of games required to play to win a set in tennis so what is the minimum amount of games required to play uh, to win a set in tennis. Uh, thanks to all the people as well today who have shared on the advert and uh, commented and, and tagged any friends and stuff in. It's very, very much appreciated. About 90 odd people playing tonight, which is blooming marvellous. Okay then, on to uh, question number three. What is the capital of Jordan? So what is the capital of Jordan? Moving on then tonight to question number four. Uh, what song did Bruce Springsteen win an Oscar for? So what song did Bruce Springsteen win an Oscar for? Uh, moving on to question number five then. What is the only muscle in the body that is only attached at one end? So what is the only muscle in the body that is only attached at one end? Uh, today in the lovely islands of the Canaries, it is absolutely baking hot. And as you can see, I'm getting shinier by the minute uh, here, especially with these uh, lights on, illuminating me as it gets darker as time goes on. So uh, I apologise if I melt away as the quiz goes on. Okay, then on to your next uh, question. Question number six. Which dinosaur ate plants and had spiky plates all the way along its back? So which dinosaur only ate plants and had spiky plates all the way along its back? Even if you don't know much about dinosaurs, it would have paid off to watch Jurassic Park at least. All 
right then, moving on uh, to question number seven. What is meant by blondinium? What is meant by londinium? I'll spell it out for you, just in case you're struggling. Uh, L-O-N-D-I-N-I-U-M. Londinium. What is meant by londinium? A quick reminder to all you lovely people out there as well in Quizland. Um, this has been shared. Thank you so much for that as well, if you have done it. Uh, into a few community uh, groups and stuff like that and onto people's timelines. Um, I'm getting a few notifications on my screen to say that people are commenting as comments uh, within those sort of shared posts. And I, I cannot see them because if I go off course and away from this page, it will cut the feed and the quiz will come to an abrupt end. So you need to navigate uh, directly to this post and comment uh, as uh, as a sort of direct comment, okay? Not uh, as a comment within a shared post because I'm not going to be able to see it uh, until the quiz is over and you'll think I'm being horribly rude uh, and ignoring you. <laughs> Okay, then on to question number eight and a little bit of maths for you, for any maths bum bods out there. Um, question number eight is, what is a prime number? So what is a prime number? Uh, Alice and Jurassic Park was on this afternoon. Excellent. What a what a great bit of film. I'd say it was a great trilogy, but they've just spun it out now into about 65 thousand films with the remakes. Alright then, uh, question number nine for you tonight of your 20 general knowledge questions. In which city was Anne Frank's hiding place? So in which city was Anne Frank's hiding place? Uh, don't forget if anybody's connections has dropped out or anything like that. Um, you can uh, ask for any repeats. We're going to do that after question 10, okay? So only one more to go when we hit the halfway house. It's at this time of the evening as well. I like to ask what everybody is drinking tonight. Fill up the comments with your tipple. Uh, let's see what the preferred flavour of choice is tonight. Okay then, and the final question for this uh, first half of your general knowledge. Uh, question number 10. What year did Madonna... <laughs> Start that again. Put my teeth in. Uh, what year did Madonna release Like a Virgin? So what year did Madonna release Like a Virgin? All right, then. So that's the first half of the general knowledge done. Questions one to ten. If you need any repeating, uh, now is the chance to do it. Uh, because quite sort of ironically, we have fallen into the halfway house. Uh, oh, all the drinks are flying in. Let's have a look what uh, people's tipples are then this evening at the halfway house. Uh, Alan's on the cider. Uh, Peter's on the Tempranillo. I haven't had heard anybody drink that for a long time. Beautiful red wine. Uh, Sauvignon Blanc for Tina. Uh, Coots Light. I guess that's Coors Light uh, for Anne-Marie. An excellent drink of choice. Uh, <laughs> that's what I'm on as well tonight. Uh, Peroni for Alan. 
I do like a Peroni. Um, it's very cheap out here as well, which is excellent. That's why I drink it. Um, uh, Aspel Cider. Ice cold for Dave. Ooh, Aspel Cider. I do like a cider as well, especially when the weather's warm. Uh, you can't beat a good old cider. Uh, Brothers Ciders. I used to enjoy Brothers Ciders, but uh, then they started bringing out lots of weird and wonderful flavors like toffee apple and all that, and it just became far too sweet after one uh, for me. You ended up feeling sick, like you've just divulged down a whole Victoria sponge. Uh, Bacardi and Coke for Alan. Just a Pepsi Max tonight for Alan. That's all right. Uh, for Mark, sorry. That's all right. Uh, a coffee for Mike. Uh, Sauvignon Blanc for Karen. Uh, a nice cheeky Zinfandel for Bernie. Pink gin for Barbara. On its own. Or with tonic. Uh, Diet Pepsi for Sheila. Uh, oh, a repeat. I was about to say, what's the one, please? But that's a repeat on a question, Rachel. Uh, so question one, Rachel, was uh, Neptune has eight moons. What is the name of the biggest one? Uh, Bacardi and Coke for Alan. Caused like. That's all right. I know what you were on about, Amory. I've got one next to me. Uh, double espressos uh, for Gary. Although I should say, as I'm hosting live tonight, uh, other beers are available from other reputable brewers. Uh... <laughs> A Malibu and Coke, uh, back on the Baileys, beer, beer, and gin for Alison. That must be the whole clam. Excellent. Put it in a giant punch bowl, that's what I say. Um, M&S Diet Sparkling Florida Orange. Can't say I've tr tried that, James. Sounds uh, delightful, though. If only M&S did Diet Sparkling Florida Orange drinks. <laughs> Turns out they do. Uh, we are on the JD. Tennessee Fire puts hairs on your chest. Oh, is this is this one of these new... Um, Chris, is this one of these new ones that they bought out? You know, they, they did a run of the Honey um, and the Gentleman Jack and stuff like that. Is, is, is a Tennessee Fire, is that is that one of the new ones? I have to say, I have. I bought, uh, when I worked in Turkey, I bought a bottle of uh, Jack Daniels Sinatra Blend. It, it cost... <laughs> too much money and uh, it's uh, housed away in my parents house at the moment for my wedding day whenever that may be uh, Bailey's uh, back to the wine as well for Emma uh, Bilingo honey rum on ice Ooh, uh, honey rum there is a flavor that reminds you of the Canary Islands anything honey vodka caramel vodka honey rum all that uh, Merlot uh, John Smith's and on the Merlot as well um, Vodka lemonade for Jimmy. What a girl's drink, Jimmy. Uh, <laughs> large pink gin and fever tree. Elderflower tonic for Chrissy. Uh, question seven for Tina. No problem. Uh, what is meant by Londinium? What is meant by Londinium? That was spelt L-O-N-D-I-N-I-U-M. Uh, oh, it is a new... Oh, thanks for answering, Chris. It is a new one. I'll have to look out for it next time. I'm uh, usually I get that kind of stuff when I uh, go through an airport. There's a little bit much, a little bit more variety. But uh, well, I think if anybody's been through an airport at the moment, uh, <laughs> it was only in your dreams. <laughs> um, JD Apple is nice as well. I can't say I've tried that. There's, oh, there's, there's too many great combinations flying around this evening. Uh, of course, don't forget, this is your time. If you need any questions, repeat it. <laughs> I'm not just sort of uh, reading out the mini bar. This is the chance. If you need any repeating, please do say them now. Uh, and then we can move on to the second half of the general knowledge tonight. Uh, get some of that Sinatra JG down him. It's no, Anita, it's saved. It's in their house somewhere. I can't even remember where I left it. Uh, it's definitely not here. I didn't bring it out here. Um, but uh, yeah, it's, it's somewhere in the house, sealed up, ready to go. It's, uh, it's, they only made a couple of bottles of it. It's apparently very nice though. It's saved for uh, me and my groomsmen on the wedding day, whenever that may be. Uh, water and tea for Christine. That's all right. Sunday night. You've had, you've had a heavy, heavy weekend. You can have a... Water and tea on a Sunday to recoup ready for the week ahead. <laughs> Parents are getting drunk for Lindsay. Uh, orange gin and lemonade uh, for Kirsty as well. Uh, right then, we are going to crack on with the uh, second half uh, of your quiz then tonight. For those of you eager, beaver and ready to go. Uh, we're now going to roll through then questions 11 uh, through to 20 on your general knowledge. But fear not, quizzers. The quiz will not end there. As tonight, we do have the bonus round of... Uh, flags of the world we'll get to that though in due course so let's crack on uh, with your general knowledge questions and question number 11 uh, which disney film features the song when you wish upon a star so question 11 
Which Disney film features the song When You Wish Upon a Star? To uh, number 12, then. Uh, what sort of shop did the Great Fire of London break out in in 1666? So, what sort of shop did the Great Fire of London break out in in 1666? Question number 13 then tonight. Uh, what was the name of the civil rights leader uh, that Dorothy Parker left the bulk of her estate to? So what was the name of the civil rights leader that Dorothy Parker left the bulk of her estate to? Uh, don't forget, if you haven't said hello yet and where you're playing from, it'll be lovely to hear from you. We've got about 90, uh, well, it's fluctuating between uh, 90 and 95 at the moment, so uh, there must be some connection problems somewhere in the world. Uh, but if you haven't said hello and where you're playing from tonight, it would be blooming lovely to hear from you. Okay, then moving on to question number 14. Uh, what is the name of the first man to step foot on the moon? So what is the name of the first man to step foot on the moon? Uh, good evening to Gary in Belfast tonight. Question number 15, then, for you tonight of your 20 general knowledge questions. Uh, what are the two longest rivers in the world? What are the two longest rivers in the world? Uh, and a very, very good evening uh, to Barbara and Jeff playing from Scotland as well. And thank you so much for the share, Barbara. Question number 16, then. How many sides does a heptagon have? How many sides does a heptagon have? H-E-P-T-A-G-O-N. Heptagon. Okay, uh, on to question number 17. Uh, what is the largest organ in the human body? What is the largest organ in the human body? We are looking internal and external. Uh, also, a special note to any ladies out there who have just had to listen to their husbands tell them what they believe the largest organ in the human body is. It's not that, fellas. Uh, moving on then to uh, question number 18. What is the most popular sport throughout the world? What is the most popular sport throughout the world?
Uh, question then number uh, 19 for you this evening. Uh, what is the largest type of deer? What is the largest type of deer? And then on to uh, the final one of your general knowledge questions tonight. Question number 20. Who plays Dave in the 2009 film Couples Retreat? Who plays Dave in the 2009 film Couples Retreat? And that concludes then your first round of this evening. All of the 20 general knowledge questions done and dusted. If you need anything repeating from the first half or the second half tonight, now is your chance to do that, please. And of course, we are all enjoying a lovely tipple tonight. So it's time to fill up those drinks. All right, then. Um, some repeats coming through. Of course. And can I repeat question number 11? For sure. Uh, which Disney film features the song When You Wish Upon a Star? So which Disney film features the song When You Wish Upon a Star? Uh, Jeff, having a bit of tropical Canarian beer. That's what I like to see. And very nice it is. If any of you have uh, visited the Canary Islands and you want to try uh, our local beer, the Tropical, is very nice. Have a little sip of next time you're here. Uh, any final repeats then for the general knowledge tonight? Now is your chance uh, to ask them, just so we are all reading from the same hymn sheet, all up to speed before we do, of course, enter uh, that final round tonight, which tonight, as I have revealed, it's a visual one, it is Flags of the World, okay? Uh, before we do get into that, if you've got the ability to do so, to try and make this screen as big as possible, uh, flip it on its side, uh, beam it up to the telly, uh, whatever it can, you can do uh, to try and make this screen uh, as big as possible, might maximise your chances on being able to study those flags just a little bit better. So you've got a, a wee few moments just to try and work out how to do that if you can, because it may just give you that slight little uh, advantage. Mark, question number 20, uh, please. Uh, it is, of course, who plays Dave in the 2009 film Couples Retreat? That was question 20. Uh, a couple for 13, Mark and Katie. Uh, what was the name of the civil rights leader that Dorothy Parker left the bulk of her estate to? That was question number 13. I can't say... <laughs> I, am I doing it like Amy and Sheldon from The Big Bang? I can't say uh, I have seen that. I... It, briefly rings a bell in that they're stood in front of a white a whiteboard um isn't it the, the the system of flags though that they do i think around and i think or is it flags of the world it rings a bell i i'm not really an avid watcher of big band though um fun with the flags from mike exactly all right then so let's uh, sort of oh number two very quickly no problem rachel uh, what is the minimum amount of games required uh, to, to that you've got to play to win a set in tennis so what is the minimum amount of games required that you have to play to win a set in tennis? 
Dave should know this. Fun with flags. It must be a Big Bang thing. I'm uneducated in the world of Big Bang. Sorry. Don't know what you're talking about. Uh, I, I, maybe I can start watching it, though, in lockdown. It's quite a long, lengthy series, isn't it? It'll give me something to do. Uh, right then, moving on then to your bonus round this evening. And of course, yes, it is Flags of the World. Now, this is a visual round, uh, so uh, they are going to pop up onto the screen in a uh, one long video. There are 10 flags tonight. I just want you to tell me, uh, of course, what country that they are associated with or, you know, they represent, okay? Uh, now there's 10. I'm going to play the video once. Then, of course, uh, I will repeat the video for you uh, once it has completed um, and we have a little bit of a, a break in the middle, okay? Uh, so, get your eyes ready, get your pens and papers uh, ready tonight, because for the first time, here come your flags of the world in tonight's visual round. In three, two, one. Number one. Number two. Number three. Number four. Number five. Number six. Number seven. Number eight. Number nine. Number ten. So there we go then, 10 flags of the world. What are the countries that they represent, please? I will play it again in just a few moments time to make it fair for everybody. But hopefully that is racking your geography skills tonight. Now, a lot of people said last week that my uh, reverse music one was a little bit too hard. So let me know what you think of this one as I do the uh, run round of the, uh, of the second time so we can all see them again. Write them in the comments of uh, of how hard you think it is. Not not the answers, don't write the answers, remember, but how hard uh, you think the bonus round is this week. I'm, I'm trying to make it fair for everyone, and I thought maybe a visual one uh, of countries of the world may be a little bit fairer than music, because some people maybe uh, aren't... Music isn't their strongest point. Uh, all right then, so for the second time, we're gonna run it round again then. So get your pens and papers ready for any that you missed, uh, because here it comes for the second time in three, two, one. Number one. Number two. Number three. 
number three. Number four. Number five. Number six. Number seven. Number eight. Number nine. Number ten. There we go then, the second run round of your Flags of the World bonus round uh, tonight. Uh, right then, uh, well, I'm slightly ahead of you. There's a little bit of a delay. So if anybody needs any final things repeating or, or if there's a, a mad sort of a surge of people that want to see the Flags of the World round again, now is your chance to say so or forever hold your peace, okay? I'll be right back after this. People seem to enjoy then the uh, the bonus round of the flags tonight. Thanks, uh, thanks if you've commented in saying that you did enjoy it. I try and make it something a bit different every week. We've had we've had logos, we've had flags now, we've had capital cities, we've had music. Who knows what it's going to be next week? You'll just have to tune in and find out uh, then. All right then, I think it's about time uh, to reveal some answers tonight. Now, the answer scheme is very, very easy this evening. It's just uh, very simply out of 30 points tonight. There are no uh, multiple point answers this evening. Uh, well, not that I'm willing to give away. Anyway, uh, there was one question about the two rivers. You're going to need to have had both of those rivers uh, in order to get the point. Because I'm feeling mean because maybe the flags were a bit easier for some people. So we've got to tighten up on the general knowledge side of it. All right. Uh, right. So. We're going to read through the answers. I'll do my best to get through them. At the end of the general knowledge, I'll repeat any that, of course, are needed before I go into revealing what tonight's uh, flags of the world uh, were. So, uh, pens and papers at the ready. You're going to mark your own, please. As I say, for the general knowledge, one point for each correct answer. Uh, no half points, no double points in this. It's very, very straightforward. It is going to be out of 20 but hold on to your marks once we have done this because of course the uh, overall quiz tonight is out of 30 so don't fill up the comments with how many you got in the general knowledge round because you're going to need to add on your uh, flags round at the end to give you a grand total tonight out of 30 points all right then question number one was neptune has eight moons what is the name of the biggest one uh, that is 
Triton. Give yourselves a point if you got that one right. Uh, number two, what is the minimum amount of games required uh, that you have to play to win a set in tennis? Uh, that was six. Give yourselves a point for that if you got it right. Uh, what is the number three was what is the capital city of Jordan? That is Amman, A M M A N. Give yourselves a point if you got that right. Uh, which uh, question four? Which song did Bruce Springsteen win an Oscar for? Uh, that was the Streets of Philadelphia. A point for that if you got it right. Question number five: What is the only muscle in the body uh, that is attached at one end? It is of course. The tongue. Give yourselves a point if you got that right. Uh, number six. Which dinosaur ate plants and had spiky plates all the way along its back? It was, of course, the Stegosaurus. Give yourselves a point if you get that one right. Uh, question number seven. Uh, what is meant by Londinium? If any of you got this one. Uh, it is, of course, just London. All right. It is the name that the Romans gave to London when they first uh, came. Uh, so Londinium just simply means London, the capital city, London. Uh, question number eight. What is a prime number? As long as you've got something loosely uh, around this description, I'll give it to you. Uh, a whole number higher than one that can be only divided by one or the number itself. Okay, so give yourselves a point if you got that one right. Number nine. In which city was Anne Frank's hiding place? That was Amsterdam. A point for that if you got it right. Number 10. What year did Madonna release Like a Virgin? That was 1984. A point for that if you got it right. Number 11. Which Disney film features the song When You Wish Upon a Star? That was Pinocchio. Question 12. What sort of shop did the Great Fire of London break out in in 1666? It was a baker's shop all the way down in Pudding Lane uh, for some useless knowledge there for you uh, number 13 what was the name of the civil rights leader that dorothy parker left the bulk of her estate to uh, that was martin luther king jr a point for that if you got it right number 14 what is the name of the first man to step foot on the moon uh, that was Neil Armstrong. A point for that if you got it right. Number 15. What are the two longest rivers in the world? I'm going to need you to have both of these for the point. Uh, and that was the Nile and the Amazon. Give yourselves a point if you got both of those. If you only got one, eh, nada. Nil point. Uh, number 16. How many sides uh, does a heptagon have? Uh, the answer I was looking for was seven. Uh, question 17. What is the largest organ in the human body? It is the skin. Give yourselves a point if you got that one right. Uh, number 18. What is the most popular sport throughout the world? Uh, it is, of course, football. But for our American friends maybe listening, soccer. Uh, number 19. What is the largest type of deer? Uh, that is the moose point for that one if you got it right and question number 20 who plays dave in the 2009 film couples retreat uh, the great comedic actor that is vince vaughn a point for that one if you got it right tonight all right so that's all your general knowledge done don't write your scores in just yet because of course we've got the flags of the world uh, but just in case anybody missed any answers please do say so now and i can uh, repeat them out in case any connections dropped Don't forget as well all these quizzes yet yeah, they do usually run here live on my facebook page uh, every sunday 8 p.m in these crazy lockdown times uh, so if you're tuning in for the first time tonight it will be lovely to see you back here again next week of course uh, same time same place 8 p.m make sure you tag your friends in as the week goes on tell everyone about it tell the world and hopefully we can have a few more people playing next week and just sort of build that competitive edge i've also as well uh, taken a recording of this tonight and it will be up on my YouTube channel uh, which I will share the link to uh, a little bit later on so you can uh, catch it up again uh, or send the link on to a friend or family member to play along to see what score they got uh, against yours tonight. 
All right, then, let's move on to the final round then tonight and the answers. I think everybody is up to speed. There's no repeats being filed in. Uh, so it was, of course, your flags of the world. So let's see how you did uh, with these tonight as we go through them one by one. So here are the answers to flags of the world. Number one. So number one tonight then was, of course, Switzerland. Number two. Number two, home of uh, all the best beer in the world and chocolates, of course, Belgium. Number three. Number three, then, is the flag of Vietnam. Number four. This one could have been my slightly trickier one for tonight. It is the Solomon Islands. Number five. Our brothers and sisters down under, it is Australia for number five. Number six. Uh, this is where mums go on holiday. It is, of course, Iceland. Number seven. Uh, the flag for number seven is the flag of the Bahamas. Number eight. Uh, this is the flag of a, a very hungry nation indeed. Yes, of course, it is Hungary. Number nine. Heading over to the continent of, uh, of uh, Africa, continent of Africa, and of course it is Kenya for this flag. Number ten. And your final flag for this evening. It is the flag of Argentina. Marks out of ten then for tonight's flags of the world round. There we go then, all the flags of the world. Just to recap those in case anybody missed any. Number one was Switzerland. Number two was Belgium. Number three was Vietnam. Uh, number four was the Solomon Islands. Number five was Australia. Number six was Iceland. Number seven was Bahamas. Number eight was Hungary. Number nine was Kenya. And number 10 was Argentina. So scores out of 30 this evening. Please write them in the comments now. Let's see how everybody did. All right, then. Oh, scores flying in already. Let's see how everybody did. Uh, Lee got 15. Thanks for playing, Lee. Alan, 28. Uh, Alan Chadban, 17 out of 30. Uh, 17 for Mark and Alexander. Uh, the Rockin' Rebels got 25. Thanks for playing, Anne-Marie. Uh, Lindsay, 27. Uh, Anita, 18 plus 1, so 19 in total. The flag slaughters us. Oh, dear, never mind. Uh, 22 for Alison. 21 for Kirsty. First time playing. That's not a bad score. Over half. You got to look at it like that. Uh, Alan, 13. Uh, Sam, 22. Thanks again. No problem, Sam. Thanks for playing. Uh, Jan uh, and Andy, 25 out of 30. Uh, 21 for me and Pete from Emma. Thanks for playing, Emma. Uh, Steve, 14. James, 21 out of 30. Uh, Teresa, a shameful 14. That's all right. Flags aren't everybody's cup of tea if that's what let you down. Uh, Mike, 19 out of 30. Uh, Gary, 15. Alan and Donna got 23. Thanks for playing, guys. Um... Uh, Peter, what was question... Oh, general knowledge question two. The answer to that, sorry, Peter, was six. Um, flags let us down. 19 this week for Dave. Thanks for playing, Dave, though. Uh, 23 for uh, my mum. Bernie, 23. Emma, 18. Peter, 26. Jeff, 25. Uh, the Corona Cowboys got uh, 20 out of 30. Uh... 
117 for Rachel. How did that happen? You must have been playing another quiz on the side. Uh, 27 uh, for Sharon. A shameful 13. 22 for uh, for Amanda. Oh, sorry, a shameful 13. Oh dear, never mind, Amanda. Uh, Peter's uh, 22. Thanks for playing, Peter. 22 for Christine as well. Um, Laura, 15. Only good at the music. Well, I can't do music every week. I'm trying to keep it fair for everyone, so I'm doing a different bonus round each week. Uh, 15 out of 30. Worst score yet for Chris. That's all right. Make a glorious comeback next week, Chris. Uh, 11 for Steve. 23 uh, for Chrissy. 20 out of 30. Uh, the Flags Killed Us. Great quiz again. Thanks for playing, Tina. It's lovely to hear from you again. Uh, Sheila, Flags Killed Us. <laughs> oh, dear. I thought the Flags was going to be easy this week. Maybe not. I'm always mis mis I'm misjudging these bonus rounds. I'm not really uh, doing them easy enough. Uh, Kate, 13. Uh, Alan, thanks for a great quiz. You're welcome, Alan. Thanks for playing once again. Hope everything's good. Uh, Peter, 22. Uh, 21 for Judith. Oh, 17 for Rachel, not 117. Uh, you probably should have left it at 117. Uh, Alison, we need to do some flag studies. Yeah. Well, it's a good excuse to get out traveling when all these quarantines and lockdowns are finished, isn't it? You need to uh, educate yourselves on the flags of the world. So many, many holidays. Get booking. Uh, Linda, 24, from the Clark family. Thanks for playing. Hope all you guys are well. Uh, Sue, 25. 23 out of 30 tonight uh, for Andrew. Uh, you're welcome, Andrew. Thanks for playing once again. 25 out of 30 for the Lings. Um, and a victory over... <laughs> <laughs> the Corona Cowboys. Excellent. Uh, great quiz. Uh, we were rubbish, though. That's all right, Karen. It's just the taking part in it. It's good fun for everyone. Uh, and lots of thank yous. Well, thanks for playing. Uh, me and Katie got 26 uh, for Team uh, Cybob from Rhiannon. And uh, looking forward to the next one from Sharon. Well, thanks so much, everybody. If you have joined in uh, tonight for the quiz, it's been an absolute blast once again. Don't forget, it will return back here live on this page next Sunday, 8 p.m. Of course, we've got the usual 20 general knowledge questions and I will think of a new mystery bonus round for the end of the quiz. So you know for example we've had in the past logo rounds, tonight we've had flags of the world, we've had capital cities, we've had name that tune, guess the intro, uh, watch the lyrics, we've had all kinds of bits and bars so I'll, I'll be inventive and try and think of something uh, new for next week uh, but thank you so much to everybody that has played, thank you to all the wonderful people that have shared it on and helped uh, sort of grow this page as time's gone on. I tipped over the uh, 800 sort of likes, uh, which is absolutely fantastic. Thank you so much. It's really going to help me uh, rebuild my business here on the island of Lanzarote. Uh, so the more people you can uh, rally up for these quizzes, hopefully uh, sort of the sort of more fun we can inject into these crazy, crazy uh, lockdown times. Uh, so thanks once again. Don't forget, like, share. Follow the page. It's just over there. All of the details. Um, because I've got some more great music videos uh, coming your week, coming your way as well. Um, next Friday or Saturday, I'm going to do another uh, live concert in the evening as well, which will be about an hour's time. I'll be asking for requests uh, as the week goes on for those as well. Uh, so thanks for all the wonderful comments. Thank you for you guys tuning in and engaging tonight. It's been an absolute blast. If you're just here for the quiz. That's quite all right. I'll see you next week. And if you want some more music and stuff like that, well, just follow this page as the week goes on. Make sure you stay indoors. Stay safe. Uh, don't go and do unnecessary 250-mile trips like the uh, Prime Minister's advice us. Uh, just stay where you are. Stay what you're doing because it seems to be working in, in some weird and wonderful way. And uh, hopefully all these crazy travel restrictions will be lifted soon and we'll be able to all talk to each other face-to-face -face here on the island of Lanzarote at a wonderful venue near you. Thanks so much. I'll see you next time. See you next Sunday for the quizzes. See you for the live concerts throughout the week. Until the next time. Buenas noches and good night! Thanks for watching everyone, uh, make sure you do hit that like and share button and uh, make sure you follow the page for future videos. See you next time! Woo!
Yeah, that's all, folks.